What's going on gamers and game and in between? Y'all already know the deal because y'all already know the spiel. And just in case you don't, well, I got a confession to make. One of my parents was a member of the PC Master Race and the other one was a dirty console peasant, which makes me a mudblood, makes me a half and half, makes me a uh, middle of the roadie, makes me a hybrid, a genetic freak, so to speak. And that is why I play left hand controller, right hand mouse. That's right, I am a freak of nature. I'm not just built differently, I am assembled uniquely. And don't you ever forget about that. And I can already feel and hear the carpal tunnel developing in your fingers as you type, but what do you mean? How is that possible? Don't worry, I'm here to answer with a graphic on the screen. This is a program known as Rewaz, which allows me to remap some of my controller inputs to be keyboard strokes. So I'm getting the best of both worlds. Now you may be asking, all right, but why would you need a program to do that? Well, unfortunately for me, Apex Legends is one of those games that actually has a terrible input reader because it doesn't understand that the keyboard should overwrite the controller. And as you know, controller sensitivity and keyboard sensitivity are very different. And oh my God, why are there people here? Why are there people here? Why are there people here? Why did you come here? Why did you come here? Why did you come here? Oh, for fuck's sake. For fuck's sake. I'm on your shit, Wraith. Get out of the way! Oh my God, bro. 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 Bro, where the fuck? Fuck! Help! Get away from me! Oh my god. That shit was a fucking creepy pasta as far. What the fuck? Oh. Oh, I had a Mastiff. I'm a bot, chat. I'm a bot, YouTube. I, I, I forgot I had a. That should not have been as close. I'm actually bad. I'm actually a bad player, but it's okay. It's okay, baby. It's okay. I have a game sense of. A, I have the game sense of a fucking piece of toaster strudel. All right, it's fine. We handled the problem. We handled it. But yeah, as I was saying, the way the input reader in this game works is your controller and your PC will always be at odds with each other. So I will demonstrate that now with rewash. You see how smooth this is? See how smooth I can just glide across? Everything looks like it's going over 60 frames per second. Everything's nice, right? But if I hold down a controller input and do it, you see that little bit of stutter? You see how it's not buttery smooth anymore? Yeah, yeah. That is why you use rewas to get rid of that. So now I can play how I normally play without having to be completely, you know, having this insurmountable hurdle of an inconsistent frame rate jumping in my face. So I know since season three, a lot of you guys have been complaining about this thing called SBMM, AKA skill-based matchmaking. And for those of you who are somehow living under the same rock that Patrick Starr does, basically SBMM is where the matchmaking system tries to put you in games based upon your skill. If you're an A tier player, you're gonna get A tier lobbies where everybody is an A tier player or supposedly an A tier player. And it's going to allow you to get games that are, you know, somewhat even across the board, even though they seldomly are. But the reason why I do think a lot of people are complaining about SBMM isn't because the games got a lot harder because of a matchmaker. I just genuinely think that there's a lot more of us who can facilitate being in a matchmaker to give us lobbies. Some of you don't understand what I said, so allow me to break it down step by step. What I said was, back in the day, back when everybody loves to compare these older games that a lot of developers have come out and said they had SBMM even back then. Okay, I got sidetracked because I thought I heard somebody, but anyways, as I was saying, I do think that the average player has just gotten so much better because I mean, let's face it, not only are we not playing on them laggy plasma screen TVs anymore, ladies and gentlemen, you can literally find any game and look up any high level secret technique and you can learn how to do it lickety split like that with a YouTube tutorial. At this point, I'm convinced you could probably become a doctor based off of just doing YouTube tutorials and not even going to school, but you kind of need, you know, some somebody to uh, validate your qualifications. So I do understand why you need to get the diploma for stuff like that. But for games, bro, you can just go out there, test it yourself. 
Did it work? Great. Profit. Instantaneously. Oh, it didn't work? All right. Well, that person was full of shit. You can find another tutorial. You have so much access to top players. Like, you can look what Shroud plays on. You can look up the settings that Dizzy, Asu, Ninja, all these players and top streamers are all using in order to, you know, get an inside track on what a lot of people are, you know, utilizing. You got so much access to data. To, to you know figure out what type of play style you should develop and what will make you succeed in whatever game here in fighting games which is another mainstay on my channel back in the day and any fighting game player who played fighting games online back then can validate this back in the day if you wanted to get to top 100 status all you needed was one break bread and butter combo and just know how to punish at least one special move for every character in the game just knowing how to punish them that's it once you did all that that's it you were a top 100 player. You were going to body a lot of people. Trust me. If you were playing on a monitor while everyone else was playing on laggy TVs, there were some instances where if you were playing on certain TVs, you couldn't even punish certain moves. I was safe. You couldn't do anything about... Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Fuck. Hey, suck on this, motherfucker. Nope. Nope. I'm not dealing with that shit. Hey, yo. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. I'm down, of course I am. Well, remember when I said all the average players were getting so much better? I apparently am not one of them because we got figgity figgity fucked up. So now that we have time between games, I can actually kind of address this in a little bit more of a concise manner. So what I mean is like before the average player could have been absolutely trash, like absolutely terrible. And if you were just decent, solid, or just okay, that allowed you to just pretty much whack everybody over the head. Like it was just very easy. It was almost like free SR, free rank points, yada, yada, et cetera, et cetera. But now there's so many of us who are able to get good at the game, whether it's be through going on YouTube, learning advanced techniques, being in the lab, training, whatever it is. There's so many ways that we can get better as players now that there's so many of us who are trying to get good that we're like our own elo like we have like finally been able to fill up those lobbies it's not just a handful of good players and then everyone else just sucks and we can just run them over now Nothing. now the average skill level has brought everybody up to the point to where we think everybody is putting us in lobbies with gods when in a lot of cases we're not in lobbies with gods we're just in lobbies with people who are as good as we are which whether you want to admit it or not we're pretty decent We've leveled up. We up here now. And that is, that's about sums it up for my nuclear hot take. Let's get back to the games. Fuck, 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 fuck. Fuck, 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 fuck. He's definitely to our left. There we go. Oh, he was the kill leader? Not, oh, and the champ? No, get out of our game, kiddo. This ain't your game no more. Find another lobby. <laughs> All right. That was kind of sloppy, but I got him. Oh, huge grenade, huge grenade, dude. Huge grenade, dude. Huge grenade, dude. Not pushing this asshole. Okay, we dropped them. Bro, where are we getting shot from now? What the fuck? Behind you! Got him. Fuck. Fuck. 
Come on now. I'm gonna need you to get up. Didn't mean to grab that, but... Fuck. Shit! I got fucking turbo lasered, bro! It's pubs, man. Oh yeah, that's a... You got mopped. Almost through that. If y'all would like to come over here and help me, that would be lovely. No, I'm on my own. Fuck's sake. Yo, who is he shooting at now? Oh, we all took different fights, it would seem. Yo, watch this. They call me Captain Motherfucking Planet. He's a hero. Good shit. Good shit. Good shit. Oh, snap. I'm running into danger. Hello, danger. Is my theme song. Hello, danger. Hello, danger. Jesus. All right, I'm the kill leader, baby. Whew. Yeah, we gotta go, guys. We gotta go. So this is what bronze is like. on the floor oh god are they being jumped by are they being third party fuck now right, we got him we got him we got him good job good job good job Whoa! Where in the fuck is that coming from? I'm so mad. Yes, 
go. Easy money. <laughs> Anyways, that's going to conclude it here. If you like what you saw, you already know what to do. Go ahead, like, favorite, comment, subscribe. Go ahead, the bell for notifications so you don't miss the next piece of high octane content we got coming your way on the channel. That being said, 1667, I'll take it. I'll take it. Maybe I should play ranked more often. I'm sure it'll get harder as we go along here, but you know, that, that was nice. That was fun. Streamer lad, he boy strikes again. <laughs>